Hi there, my name is Shauna and welcome to Yoga Snacks, nourishment for the body, mind and spirit. Um, today we're going to you have a really relaxing class, a really relaxing practice. Um, so just let's start sitting like we almost always do in a chair uh, uh, with the feet planted on the floor. Um, take a moment and look down at your feet. You can spread the toes, plant the feet evenly. Line your knees pretty well over your ankle. And I recommend sitting a little bit forward of the back of the chair. But if it hurts your back or you're tired, then sit back. Because like I say, we're going to focus on relaxing today. And let's do an awareness exercise. So start by bringing your hands together at your heart and let your thumbs touch your sternum. And this is a way we often start in yoga and it's a symbol, uh, some, some say it's a symbol of the union of the body, mind and spirit, but others think, in it, think of it as a prayer position. But just feel the thumbs and let the thumbs touch the breastbone. Lift your breastbone and let your shoulders relax away from your ears. And then close your eyes and bring your attention, your focus, to the thumbs into the breastbone. So it's a little bit of a strong feeling. You might notice that. From there, move your attention like a camera lens to your palms. And feel the palms touching. Feel the sensation, maybe pressure or warmth. And then let's move the awareness along both arms out to the elbows, to the shoulders. From there, move your awareness up towards your neck, towards your head. And just feel this upper body awareness. Then bow your head so your chin drops towards your chest. And start to move your awareness down the back of the neck. Move your awareness like a camera lens to your back. To the hips sitting on the chair. Down through the legs to the feet on the floor. And just with the, the lens of your awareness, notice the feet against the floor. And then let the awareness get a little bit wider so you can be aware of your whole body seated in the chair. And just notice what that's like. Feeling maybe the pressure of your hands and aware of the feet against the floor, but also aware of yourself seated here. And then take a deep inhale. Sigh the breath out the mouth and relax your hands. Maybe the eyes are closed, just relaxing, noticing what that felt like. Okay, let's bring the awareness to the top of the head and you can bring your hands to the top of the head. Press your head up into your hands and use your fingers at the top of the head just to kind of stretch the scalp a little bit very lightly so it's just an idea almost like you were sliding two doors open and making space at the top of the head and you can just make that space lift up through the crown of the head and then remember that spot where your hands touched rest your hands back down to your lap and press up through the top of the head Focusing your awareness at the top of the head like you would your camera lens. And then very slowly maintaining that focus, but also starting to move. And you can turn your head slowly from side to side. And as you go, still having the awareness on the top of the head, but notice how your awareness can be in more places then one, you can feel the head moving. Maybe you can hear the little sounds if your neck is like mine and it crackles. You might be aware of sounds in your environment or the air on your skin. 
Next time that your head turns to look to your left, pause and look down. Let the chin drop towards the chest and notice where you feel sensation. You can move your awareness to wherever you feel sensation. And also bring your left hand so that it rests both on the top of the head but also the back. Supporting the head, gently encourage the chin to tuck to the chest. Let your awareness be at the top of the head, but also in the neck. Also, let your awareness expand right down to the hips on the chair, the feet on the floor. Then inhale, release your hand from the head, let the head lift up, slowly, slowly, start to turn your head to look over towards the right. As you look to your right, just reconnect to your awareness to the top of the head, drop your chin down to your, ch your shoulder, chest area, and then bring your right hand onto the top of the head and fingers reaching towards the back. Just with the touch of the hand, the support of the hand, encourage the chin to go towards the chest a little bit, not forcing. Letting this exercise be much more about how you can move your awareness, what you notice, and a lot less about trying to do something perfectly or getting as much stretch or sensation as possible. Then, as you inhale, lift your head. Slowly, slowly, turn your head back to center. And face forward. Okay. Once again, lift up through the top of the head. This time, as you lift up through the top of the head, release your left ear towards your left shoulder. Doesn't need to be very much, just a little. You can take your left hand again, so it touches both that spot at the top of the head and it reaches towards the ear. And you're supporting, but not pulling. So moving the lens of the awareness to your head, to your neck, but also letting your awareness expand to include the whole body. Okay. Then release, lift your head, rest. This time as you exhale, tip your ear towards your right and bring your right hand so it touches the top of the head and it reaches a little bit towards the ear. Then lens of the awareness focused on the top of the head, the neck, but also aware of your hips on the chair, feet on the floor, and including the whole body. Then let go with your hand. Inhale, slowly sit up. Okay. Let's do a little bit of a forward twist. We're going to lean forward, rest onto the left forearm. The right hand can reach back to hold the chair if that makes sense for you in whatever you're sitting. If not, maybe your right hand is on your hip. So now we're at an angle, still aware of this point at the top of the head. Move your awareness down your back to your hip. And then move your awareness right down to your feet. Feeling the feet, the hips, spine and head begin to slowly turn along the axis of your spine to the right. You can use your arm that's holding the chair for support. And with your awareness at the top of the head, just keep it in line with the spine. Expand your awareness to include your whole body. Mm 
then to come out, let go of the chair, come up as the inhale, sit up. Okay, let's do the second side. So lean forward, rest your forearms on your leg, forearm on your legs, and bring your left hand back to your hip or to hold the chair. Press evenly into your feet. Move the awareness up to your hips. This time go right up your spine to the crown of the head. And then begin to take the awareness back down the spine to twist. Expand to include your whole body. And then preparing to come out Press into your feet, inhale, unwind, sit all the way up. Okay, let's uh, do just one little slightly more fluid. So you're going to take your arms out, bring your awareness down to the fingertips. Feel your fingertips and slowly float your fingertips up towards the ceiling and then exhale slowly arms coming down and you can repeat this two or three times letting instead of focusing on the breath really focus your attention to your fingertips let your awareness be your guide moving slow and then the next time the arms are up look up and as you exhale start to fold slowly from your hips and bring your hands down you can even hug your thighs with your arms if that's appropriate or you can rest your hands on your feet if that's too much for you today then propped up on your elbows otherwise here hanging feel your breath but expand your awareness take it to the soles of the feet up through the knees to the hips along the spine, out to the shoulders, elbows, wrists, hands, back to the neck, to the head. Then expand to include your whole body. And as you inhale, sweep your arms out, come all the way up, reaching with your hands, and then as you exhale, glide your hands down into your heart. And then release your hands. And let's stand up briefly. Um, move the chair. And you'll see I've got a lot of pillows. So pillows would be great. Um, luckily, you can always pause this. I'm sure if you're watching at home, get yourself a couple pillows. I'm going to put a pillow for the back a pillow for the legs let's actually change that pillow for the head a smaller pillow for the back and a pillow for the legs so this could be a folded blanket a rolled up blanket um, and same for these they could but have this one a little softer and these two a little higher we're going to come into what's called mountain brook pose the knees drape over the pillow the smaller pillow under your upper back. Oh, and a nice pillow under your head. When you lie down, you should feel, oh yes, ready to relax completely. And just feel your body settled here. Feel your breath come and go. And then let's start with the awareness at the top of the head. You can have your eyes closed here. Bring the awareness to the top of the head. Then move your awareness down through the head to the neck. Let your awareness travel out through your right shoulder to your right elbow to your right hand
and then bring it back through the right elbow, through the shoulder, across the chest, over to the left elbow, left hand, back up to left elbow, left shoulder, down to the center of the chest, to the belly, to the hips. Tracing your awareness to your right leg, so down the right hip to the right knee, the right foot, right toes. Tracing your awareness back up from the sole of the foot to the knee, to the right hip, over to the left hip. Moving your awareness down to your left knee, left foot, back up through the sole of the left foot, left knee, left hip, belly. Moving your awareness up through your chest to your throat. Back to the top of the head. And just aware of the whole body resting here. Taking in all the sounds around you. And the sounds and the sensations within you. And deepen your breath. Just move your hands, maybe circle your wrists and wiggle your fingers. Bend your knees. Bring your knees in towards your chest and rock a little bit from side to side. Then roll yourself all the way over to your right side and use your hands to lift yourself up. Okay, let's lie down on our front. So ideally, you could do a pose called child pose. Um, and it's nice to do it with support. So you could have your pillows, maybe pillows stacked up. If it's possible to sit back onto your heels, so you have your knees apart, and then the pillow structure in front so that your stomach and your chest rest onto the pillows. I have a mic that gets crushed, so I have to be a little bit more careful. I'm resting my head on my hands, but you could um, have your head just rested on the pillow. Main thing is you're comfortable, you're lying on your front. If you can't sit back onto your feet like this, um, then another alternative, we, what, sometimes it's because the feet are sore, sometimes it's because the knees are sore. Um, the other alternative is you have a big support for your torso and you lie with your stomach and part of your rib cage on the bolster, your knees open to the side, face down. Either way, we're going to bring our awareness to the back body. And just use the lens of your awareness along your spine. Bring your awareness down into the legs, through the knees, to the feet. Tracing your awareness back up, this time through both legs, both feet, to the hips to the abdomen and the chest resting, to the head, also the arms, the 
Then expand your awareness to include the whole body. And then from here, whether you're in the child pose or in this downward facing Shavasana or sometimes called bug pose, we're gonna come up. So you deepen the breath, consciously press into your hands, come up through hands and knees, and then shift your legs out in front of you. Okay. Um, so because we're going at such a slow pace, we're possibly at our last pose. So this one, it's nice if you have, uh, at the yoga studio, we usually use things called bolsters, which are big, thick versions of this. I don't have that, so I'm going to make do. I'm going to have two pillows stacked up, and then this other pillow on top, so it's a little more support. And then even more support, one more for my head. So. I have a little bit of a ramp so that my hips are on the floor, my back is supported. You can use bed pillows, you can use folded blankets, um, but the idea is that there's a nice gentle sloping higher support for your upper back and then you let your legs reach out. Oh. And it should feel quite comfortable, so nice that you could possibly fall asleep here. If it doesn't, then you need to change something, usually just adjusting so that you have more or less pillows, sometimes going back to a support under the knee is nice. Otherwise, get a feeling that the pillows support your lifted chest, your head is supported. This one's excellent to do if you've got a little bit of a cough or a cold because it keeps um, all the congestion running down and not into your head. Uh -oh. And then as you relax here, again, we'll play with our awareness. Start with the awareness at the top of the head. Move the awareness down, maybe to the space between the eyebrows, to the hollow at the throat. Expand your awareness out into both arms at the same time, shoulders, elbows, palms. Then drawing your awareness back, lens of the awareness to the elbows, to the shoulders, to the center of the chest. <coughs> Excuse me down to the solar plexus area between just below the sternum, above the navel, down to the space just below the navel, move the lens of your awareness down through the two legs to the knees, to the heels, to the feet. And come back up through the legs, to the spot just below the navel, solar plexus, center of the chest, throat, Base between the brow, top of the head. And as you continue to rest, you just let the whole, your awareness expand to include the whole body.
can choose to stay in this position. Let your whole body rest. Literally nothing else to do. Just let the video come to an end. Or if you have things to do and it's time to start to move, then you wiggle your fingers slowly and stretch a little. But keep this uh, depth of awareness as you begin to move, as you, if you're coming to sit, as you come to sit, or as you go out about your day. And Take a moment to acknowledge this lens of your own awareness, sometimes called the light of your awareness. Connect to anything else you're grateful for. Thank you so much for joining in this time. Have a wonderful day, a wonderful week. Namaste.